Hello everyone, my name is Steve and I'm a quality engineer in the automotive industry and in this video I'm going to talk to you about a piece of equipment that engineers such as myself or many different engineers and even tradesmen use in their everyday life. It's a rather simple piece of equipment but very clever. So this is a steel tape measure. Now this piece of kit really is quite simple. Um, this steel tape is actually uh, quite flexible and it folds around inside of this plastic casing. Now this happens to be five meters long and that's five meters of steel tape that I can just pull and pull and pull and pull and pull. And pull. Keep pulling. Look at this. I'm not even close yet. There we are. That's about That's about as far as it goes. Now that's quite a lot of tape. It's steel tape. And look how it all just folds back in. There's lots of it. Five meters or 16 feet. But for the moment, let's talk about meters. Meters are quite a useful and easy measure to use simply because a meter is split into centimeters and millimeters. Do you know how many centimeters there are in one meter? That's a hundred, a hundred centimeters in one meter. And how many millimeters are there in a centimeter? Ten. So how many millimeters are there in a meter? It's a thousand. So the metric system where we get meters from really is quite a simple system to think about because most of the multiplication methods are in tens, a hundreds or a thousands. Feet and inches are something altogether different. It's quite difficult and complex to understand, but let me just tell you a little bit about feet and inches. There are 12 inches in one foot. There are three feet in one yard. And there are 1,760 yards in one mile. That's quite a lot of different numbers to think about. There's no multiplication by 10 or 100 or 1,000. We've got 12 inches in one foot, three feet in one yard, 1,760 yards in a mile, or 5,280 feet in a mile. God, that's difficult, isn't it? Let's talk about the metric system for the moment. I think what we might do is go into the kitchen. So here we are in the kitchen. And what I've got here is a set of kitchen scales and this is set to zero so it's quite empty there's nothing in there and these scales weigh all the way up to five kilograms. Now what I've also got is a jug of cold water and this water is filled right to the top of the jug and that's a thousand milliliters and a thousand milliliters is equal to one liter of water. Now let's do something interesting, a bit of an experiment. I'm going to take this water and I'm going to pour it into the scale. So we have to be quite careful, I don't want to spill a drop. And we see the weights, the needle going round. And it goes round and round and round. But where's it going to stop? Oh, look at that. One litre of water weighs exactly one kilogram. And that's a really nice, neat comparison about the metric system. 
Did you know that?